already in the last session i explained about clustering if you want you once check the video now we will see algorithms on the clustering clustering clumps under the unsupervised learning some of the clustering algorithms are k means k mode and knn we will see one by one now we will see k means so here k means clustering is an unsupervised learning algorithm used to solve the clustering problems in the machine learning to solve the clustering problems one of the technique we used is k means so here in the k means we use group we use unlabeled data set into different clusters so here for example there are different data sets that we form into different different clusters for example here all the starts will be in we form into one clusters all the circles will be form into one cluster all the squares will be form into one cluster and so on so here we are grouping unlabeled data set into different clusters here we are telling that k means what does it mean means k defines the predefined clusters if mentioned k is equal to 2 means we need to form the data set into two clusters if the k mentioned as a 3 means we need to form the data set into three clusters and so on now we will see algorithm next we will see the example if you want to make the notes you please write you can write the notes also first we will see algorithm so here select the number k to decide the number of clusters sometimes in your examination they will mention the k otherwise you need to choose by yourself so here select the number k how many number of clusters you make you want to form by using the data points that you need to select for example you can consider k is equal to r3 and so on next one second point is select random k points as centroids next one by seeing the example you can come to know all these steps if you want you can make the notes next one calculate the distance and place a new centroid of each cluster next one reassign each data point to the new closest centroid of each cluster next if any reassignment occurs then go to step 3 else stop we will see the algorithm later first we will see the problem after seeing the problem you can easily understand the algorithm so here given the question is this one x y data points has given x is nothing but a 2 and y is nothing but a 10 x is nothing but a 2 5 and so on so here the question given as like this cluster the eight points with x comma y into three clusters so here you can say that k is equal to now 3 why because three clusters means k will be 3 next initial cluster centers are so initial cluster centroids are given as a 2 comma 10 5 comma 8 1 comma 2 so, um, these are the three centroids given if we mentioned in the exam you know uh, it's okay if he did not mention in the question then you can take any three data points from the given data points from this data points any uh, three data points you need to consider generally how we can consider that three data points means for example here i have mentioned here what are the data set given 2 comma 10 like this 2 comma 10 so here a 2 comma 10 next given 2 comma 5 so here this is the data point next 8 comma 4 this is the data point like that you need to consider the data points so you can form by seeing this data points you can form into one cluster so here for this cluster which data point you want to consider as a Uh, cluster point centroid you need to consider for this cluster which uh, cl which data point you want to consider as a centroid that you can consider from this data points which center which point you need to consider as a centroid that you can consider like that also you can consider otherwise randomly also you can choose no problem so here three clusters that is nothing but a k is equal to 3 after taking the k is equal to 3 to calculate the 
here you need to calculate the distance from uh, from each data point so here calculate the distance of each point from each of the center of three clusters so here is k is equal to 3 now you need to calculate the distance what is the formula for distance means x2 x2 minus x1 bar plus y2 min sorry x2 minus x1 mod plus y2 minus y1 mod so here uh, this is the question given x y uh, as it is i have taken next distance from the center 2 comma 10 here mentioned no 2 comma 10 that i am considering and one more data point 5 comma 8 i am considering and one more data point 1 comma 2 i am considering from this data point from this um, data point you need to calculate the distance from each data point so to calculate the distance you need to use this formula you can consider x2 x1 may be anything this one x1 or this one x1 l any way you can consider so here 2 minus 2 is 2 minus x2 minus x1 2 minus 2 plus 10 minus 10 which is nothing but a 0 okay next 2 minus 2 plus 10 minus 5 which is nothing but a 5 next 2 minus 8 or 8 minus 2 any way you can consider mod you are representing so you no need to consider the negative values so here 8 minus 2 minus 8 plus 10 minus 4 which is nothing but a 12 and so on you need to calculate like this again for this data point 5 comma 8 same calculate the distance 5 minus 2 plus 8 minus 10 that is nothing but a 5 5 minus 2 plus 8 minus 5 that is nothing but a 6 and so on again you need to calculate the distance from this 5 comma 8 to all other data points again cluster 3 also in the cluster 3 we have considered the centroid as a 1 comma 2 from this 1 comma 2 you need to calculate the distance from all other data points after calculating the distance you need to check for each row so in the cluster 1 um, distance is 0 in the cluster 2 distance is 5 in the cluster 3 distance is 9 now which one is less one in the cluster 1 distance is less so here cluster cluster 1 you need to choose next in the second row if you observe here 5 6 4 which one is less 4 is less so cluster 3 you need to consider again in the third row again this 7 is less which is nothing but a, this 7 comes under the cluster 2 so you need to take the cluster 2 and so on after making all this again you you need to check these data uh, cluster one data points you need to write okay cluster one data points are two comma ten so in the cluster cluster one only one data point came that is nothing but a two comma ten next in the cluster two in the cluster two data points how many data points came in the cluster two in the cluster 2 data points are 8 comma 4 5 comma 8 7 comma 5 6 comma 4 4 comma 9 so all the data points you need to mention after mentioning the cluster 2 you need to take the cluster 3 after taking that you need to calculate the average values so here there is no other data points so taking the average as a 2 comma 10 means 2 comma 10 only for the cluster to take the average how to calculate the average 8 plus 5 plus 7 plus 4 plus 6 by how many points are there 5 so here 36 by 5 which is nothing but a 6 uh, 30 by 5 which means 6 you will get again this all this plus by 5 if you uh, do you will get average as a 6 for the cluster 3 2 plus 3 by 2 which is nothing but 1.2 1.5 5 plus 2 7 uh, by 2 3.5 you will get so after taking this cluster 1 cluster 2 cluster 3 average values again for this x comma y you need to take the now center uh, centroid as a 2 comma 10 next centroid as a 6 comma 6 next centroid as a 1.5 comma 3.5 for the same data points you need to consider see here so here same this is a question given x comma y this is a question given x comma y uh, uh, for the uh, here you see 
in the cluster 1 what is the data point we got in the cluster 1 only 2 comma 10 in the cluster 2 6 comma 6 in the cluster 3 1.5 comma 3.5 that values only we are considering 2 comma 10 6 comma 6 comma 6 and 1.5 comma 3.5 again you need to calculate the distance from this data point to all other data points so here what is the formula x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 so if you do here 2 minus 2 plus 10 minus 10 which is nothing but a 0 again you need to calculate for this uh, center from this center 6 minus 2 plus 6 minus 10 anyway if you get 0 means this is a minimum distance so i did not calculate here next 2 minus 2 plus 10 minus 5 that is nothing but a 5 next 6 minus 2 plus 6 minus 5 that is nothing but a 5 and so on after calculation of distances again you need to for each row which one is the minimum distance that you need to consider as that you need to consider so it, 0 is the minimum 0 comes under the cluster 1 so here cluster 1 you need to mention again in this row 2 is the minimum so cluster 3 these two comes under the cluster 3 so here 3 mentioned again in the row cluster 2 is the minimum and so on after taking all this again you need to make a group a cluster so in the cluster 1 what are the data points are coming in the cluster 1 data points are coming as a 2 comma 10 and 4 comma 9 4 comma 9 so like that you need to form cluster 1 2 comma 10 comma 4 comma 9 again in the cluster 2 these are the points came and again in the cluster 2 cluster 3 these are the data points came again for this cluster 1 you need to calculate the average in the cluster 2 you need to calculate the average in the cluster 3 you need to calculate the average this is the iteration 2 completed again when we need to complete this uh, process means uh, actually in the cluster 1 after the completion of iteration 1 you need to check these values after the completion of iteration 1 what are the values you got ok so here 1 3 uh, all 2 3 comma 2 you got whereas in here uh, la in the last one you got 1 there is no uh, there is no same values for the cluster 1 and the cluster 2 if you observe here 1 1 same 3 3 same 2 2 same 2 2 same 2 2 same 2 2 same 3 3 same here 2 comma 1 is not same so here again you need to make the iteration 1 and iteration 2 both are not same same if iteration 1 and iteration 2 is same means you can stop the procedure but here both po data points are not same so you need to make the iteration 3 also so again you need to consider these are the centroids for this data values okay so again same you need to consider these these are the data points again center values whatever the center points we got in the iteration 2 that you need to take and again you need to calculate the distances after calculating the distances for each row which one is the minimum that you need to consider so 1.5 is a minimum that comes under the cluster 1 so like that you need to write again after the calculation of uh, iteration 3 after the calculation of iteration 3 also uh, we did not get the iteration 2 and iteration 3 values are not same so you need to start the same uh, procedure in the iteration 3 again you need to form the in the cluster 1 what are the data points comes again in the iteration 3 cluster 2 what are the data points comes cluster 3 what are the data points come after uh, the calculation you need to find the average values like this you will get after the calculation calculation of average points again you need to find the iteration 4 for the iteration 4 again you need to consider the data points as a uh, 3.67,9, 7,4.3, 1.5,3.5 which came in the iteration 3 as a centered points. For this, uh, from this points uh, in the question you need to calculate the same again distance you need to calculate like this you need to do. Okay, so here same 2, uh, 3 minus 2, 3.67 minus 2 plus 10 minus 9 like that you need to do you will get these values 
after uh, getting the values again for each row which one is the minimum that data point that you need, cluster you need to select so if you observe here in the cluster 3 and cluster 4 same values you got so whenever um, whenever uh, in the previous iteration cluster points and um, in the next iteration cluster points are same then you can stop the procedure so here now you can stop the procedure and again in the cluster one what are the data points are coming that you need to mention in the cluster one data points are coming as a in the cluster one data points are coming as a two comma okay. in the iteration four in the cluster 1 data points are coming as a 2 comma 10 5 comma 3 4 comma 9 in the cluster 2 data points are coming as a 8 comma 4 7 comma 5 6 comma 4 in the cluster 3 data points are coming like this so from uh, cluster 1 2 comma 10 so here this is nothing but a 2 comma 10 and 5 comma 3 5 comma 3 so here 5 comma 3 this one next 4 comma 9 4 comma 9 this is like this you need to make the clusters and you can uh, draw the diagram like this so this is nothing but a cluster 1 2 comma 10 sorry this one 2 comma 10 and 5 comma 3 5 comma 3 means 5 comma 8 sorry this one is 8 5 comma 8 and this one 4 comma 9 and b means this one this is forming as a one cluster and again in the cluster 2 these all are the data points whatever is there whatever came that i have mentioned here in the cluster 3 whatever the data points came that i have mentioned here this is nothing but a k-means algorithm please subscribe and watch